Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Hi, Valder. Hi, Valder. Hi, ladies. Thank you for joining me here live in Dallas, Texas, to talk about the gun debate. Who do I have in the studios with me? You have. Uh, I'm Pam Bosley from Chicago. And I'm Stephanie Sotig. I'm the director of Under the Gun. All right, then. If you will, will you tell me? I'll start with you, Stephanie, and then I'll talk with Pam because I'm so interested about what's going on in Chicago. But tell me what the gun debate is. The gun debate. Well, so, you know, for the past 30 years, we've been led to believe that there's this big gun debate in this country, that it's a very polarizing black and white issue. You're with us or against us. And what's interesting is when I started making this film, what we found is actually that the NRA only represents 5% of gun owners. So there's this huge silent majority of gun owners that aren't being represented by the NRA. And even more surprising is that within the NRA, 74% of NRA members support stricter background checks. So the NRA, what we found, really hasn't been reflecting the will of their members. And they've had a real stranglehold on this debate for far too long. Pam? Yes? You say you're in Chicago. I know over the weekend, and I don't know if you can identify with this, they said over the holiday weekend, a recent holiday, there were 40 people involved in gun violence. How does this make you feel being a part of the gun debate? In, in Chicago, that is correct. Um, just this year alone, we had 1,500 people shot and over 200 dead. I'm so tired of, um, of this whole thing that um, no one seems to care. They, um, the perception of Chicago is it's another day in Chicago. Um, it was black and brown people shot and it's gang related. And that's not true. Terrell, uh, my son was shot in Chicago. And he wasn't in a gang. He didn't sell drugs. He did none of that. He was at church, uh, coming outside of a church to help his friend get drums out of a car. He was in college. And mo majority of the, the, the youth, uh, the parents that you're going to see in Purpose Over Pain, because that's the group that I'm with, their parents, they, their children was good. Uh, one was on a bus. He was coming home from school. One was sitting in a car coming home from work. So it's different stories um, that people are not telling. So our, our kids in Chicago, they just another number with a tragic end. But this film showed that they're human lives. They, they shouldn't be disvalued. Um, they are humans, and they do deserve to have their pursuit of happiness. just like everybody else in America. Stephanie, with... Someone, and I'm so sorry, uh, I'm so, so sorry, Pam, for the loss of your son. I'm very sorry for that. Thank you. And, and we won't, um, we, I, and I'm grateful of that, but I, we, won't, we don't want sympathy. We want action after you watch Under the Gun. Okay. Uh, a woman who knows what she wants. Stephanie, let me ask you, is Pam the only one feeling like this? No, Pam is certainly not the only one feeling like this. I mean, I think the majority of the country is frustrated with the gun violence situation in this country. But, you know, we've been we've been told that it that, you know, the gun lobbyists is unstoppable force. And the tr that's really not true. They've been driving the narrative on this for far too long. And under the gun takes back the narrative and actually shows you the truth and deals with facts um, to show you that that this is. If we want change, if the country wants change, it can happen. We've seen it happen. Um, and we just need to get more involved. And I think what's what what Pam the reason why um, 
you know, I think in the film we wanted to juxtapose Pamela's story with a family in Newtown, Mark Barden, to show the disconnect between, you know, they're both families that had three children and they both lost a son. And in Newtown there was this incredible outpouring of support, rightfully so, they absolutely deserved it. But where is the outpouring of support for Chicago? You know, this weekend alone, 64 shootings, it doesn't, it doesn't make the CNN news banner, you know, it, we, there is, a perception that because or there, people tend to marginalize it and say that it's it's gang related and what we've seen is that oftentimes it's not gang related but quite frankly even if it was gang related lives matter regardless exactly. we should be doing something this is so un-american what's happening in this country and we are you know leading the charge on gun violence in the world 33,000 people are killed every year Gun violence is the number one leading cause of death for black men ages 15 to 34. This is just unacceptable. When will we have an opportunity to see gun debate? And will gun debate think you do with, uh, do what uh, Knives Over Fork did for food? I think so. I mean, I really think this, this film will change the way you look at the gun debate because, again, we've all bought into the NRA narrative for so long that somebody's coming to get your guns and if you are against gun violence, you're somehow anti-gun, which isn't the case. You have a constitutional right to own a gun. No one is contesting that. What we need to do is, is enact some common sense measures that will just make it harder for mentally ill people on the terror watch list to get a gun. And um, you can see the film right now on iTunes and Amazon and, and on demand. I'm so glad to have had the opportunity to speak to both of you ladies because it only takes a voice to make a difference, and you guys seem to have very strong voices. Thank so you. Thank you for being a voice on the Valder BB show, and I wish you continued success. And we are trying to do something from our perspective. I'm a right. big believer the only change that I can make in this country is through my vote. Thank you, Valder. We really correct. appreciate that. Thank, thank you. Thank you, ladies.